All right, well, these cars look pretty awesome without a front plate, but unfortunately due to New Jersey state law, I need to have one. Thankfully, when I bought the car from Nielsen, they didn't do that prep where they drill some holes in the front of my car. Um, so we're lucky enough not to have that front plate mount, but unlucky enough that I have to put this on. I can't go more than a day or two in some of the towns that I drive through to get to work without a front plate. I get pulled over. Getting pulled over obviously is annoying, but it also puts the officer's life at danger, having to get out of his car in traffic to tell me to follow the law. So out of respect for the police and just the overall fact of not getting pulled over anymore, we have the Stone Show. Every time I talk about the Stone and Show, somebody comes back and hits me with the toggle bolt solution. I had the toggle bolt solution on the front of my Challenger for quite a while. Didn't like it because it wasn't removable. What you do is you take your plate frame, flip it upside down, go buy a couple three inch toggle bolts, stick them through there, screw it down in place, and then screw the plate into the plate frame, which is now toggle bolted to your front lower grill. Again, it's a great solution. It works, but it didn't work for me because I couldn't take it out and it looked kind of silly in photos. Now, right here on the Challenger, we've had this Stow and Show on the car for about four years. Currently charging the car because I've been away for a while and the battery went dead. But that Stow and Show held up to a lot of bottoming out, a lot of front end uh, smashes on the ground, a lot of driveways. And in fact, every day, scrape in, scrape out. As I back in the driveway, it pulls the plate forward and as I pull out into the road to take off it pushes the plate back into position so this thing has held out really well over the course of almost four years straight so i'm going with the stow and show now this version here mounts down in the lower lip here this is for uh, your older scat packs that don't have the hellcat front lip uh, anything with a hellcat front lip they have a screw in um, lower grill where you can actually mount the stow and show up in the stock plate position now there's quite a few places you could pick this up from. You can get these from BigMike'sPerformanceParts.com. You can get it from Merrick Motorsports, the guys who make those rings right there. You can also get this from Amazon. Don't get any kickbacks from any of the sales except for if you purchase using my links on Amazon. Amazon throws me a couple bucks for all your purchases and that goes to getting more gear like this to, uh, to review. So because I've made a video for Big Mike's Performance Parts before, they were kind enough to send me a package with a little extra goodies in it. So here's what we got. We got the Stow and Show cap. We've got the Stow and Show red, white, and blue t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Whole pile of Stow and Show stuff here. These are the screws in the instruction manual. Don't need the instructions, do we? Yeah, we do, of course. Got a bunch of Stow and Show pens. Stack of Stow and Show stickers. And of course the piece we've been waiting for, the plate holder right here. Okay, let's pack all this stuff back up. All right, so the purpose of this is to mount your front plate in the stock position without drilling any holes in the front of your Hellcat. This also works for the newer, um, uh, the newer scat packs with the Hellcat front clip. There's two screws down here, one here and one over here, which we'll go into in a second you bolt this to and then it just hovers in front of the stock license plate position and allows you to pull a pin slide this off leaving only the bracket behind and you're back to no front plate for photos and everything else make it nice and simple let's do the install now and it's also got a nice big rubber bumper right on the back there this way if you happen to bump into something now same quality as the last version that i've had so I'm expecting the same longevity, actually probably even a little bit longer just because I'm no longer scraping it every day. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing on there. I'm gonna take a minute to clean this plastic here just to make sure there's nothing that's gonna be rubbing in the area that we're working on. It also appears, and you know, I don't wanna quote this, but it also appears that you can mount this to any of these screws, making your license plate off to the side or to the center um i mean use it try at your own risk the instructions say dead center bolting i don't know if it messes with the clearance between the license plate and the bumper or anything like that but it does look like you do have the option these holes here line up with all of these screw holes all the way down to the end over here so i don't know maybe i'll experiment around with it and see 
which one's better, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the stock position for this video. You guys can test it out on your own how you feel you wanna see your license plate sitting. Okay, first step, obviously remove the stock rail screws. Screws aren't very long, which is why they provide another set of screws for you to use. All right, so we've already moved these two screws. I'm going to place it with, if you take a look at this, the instruction manual looks a little different, but if you take a look, got a space right here. I'm going to mount it where this is in the front. You can also see there's a curve here, so that matches the curve of the, these are seven millimeter. Put this up and through. And let's get it started in there. I'm in a weird position to stay out of the sun, so it's a little awkward screwing everything in here. All right, I already like how this fits. It's contoured. It's contoured around the grill. It fits up nicely here. I'm gonna pull it far forward and then just tighten it down. I'm guessing you're not supposed to torque these. I don't have the torque specs on the front of these, uh, but I would say get them tight, but uh, don't, do, don't do Hercules. So I'm sure there's something like a metal clip back there that's thin, it's gonna snap. Let's see, it feels pretty nice. And the last step is you slide this in, pull the pin, and it clicks. All right, looks like we've got it in. Just to remove, plate goes on and off, easy as pulling this little pin here, and you are show ready. Love it. It's one of my favorite features on my cars is to have the snow and show. I love taking pictures without the front plate, but I also like being within the New Jersey state laws. All right, so the next steps we're gonna do is we've got a flathead and these are soft screws. What you do is you take the long part of the screw and you push it through the front. And the reason for that is this way you don't have any um, long stems of these things sticking out the back. So when, you're, when you bump, you're only hitting these soft plastic pieces or this piece of rubber here. All right, so we're gonna screw this piece in. Okay, now a couple things I like to do with my plate frames, the first thing, is New Jersey front plates, they come bent outward, so they kind of stick out like this. This is an exaggerated view, but they stick out sideways. So what I like to do is bend them flat, and then I put them in a plate frame. Now this plate frame is New Jersey state legal. It does not cover up the state. It does not cover up New Jersey. So, and it also has these little clamps in the back. So what I like to do is I like to put this down on a hard surface with uh, something soft underneath, I like to push these down up against the back of the license plate. This way the license plate is held in place. It doesn't rattle around a lot. Okay, let's continue with the mounting. Put this in there like that. And then we have these nice plastic nuts on the front. These are 11 millimeter. And I would recommend finger tightening them, not using any type of tools, just to make sure you don't snap the plastic. These are in there really good. Plate looks good. Nothing sticks out too far on the back. There you go. Slide this in. Put it on. And there you have it. It does move. does move but it doesn't touch Let's see if we can get down there you know if you push it all the way I can make it touch but those side pieces don't touch all right looks like we got our plate done all right that was another quick and simple install hope this video helped you guys out just know I passed New Jersey State inspection today with the stow and show on the car for you guys go nuts in the comments below because this is a touchy subject. Front plate laws are kind of silly, 
But you got to understand, to for me, from where I live, for where I drive, if I don't have a front plate, I get pulled over. So I got to abide by the law, make sure that I am uh, not wasting an officer's time by disobeying the law blatantly. The Stow and Show gives me the ability to have my front plate when I need it and take it off when I don't. So this product for me is perfect. There's no need to argue about front laws, front plate laws being silly. It's just what it is. It's not going to change anytime soon. So let's not waste our time on that. So let's shoot for the positive. If this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because 80% of my viewers are still not subscribers. What's up with that? Everything you saw in this video is down in the description below. Feel free to browse those links. Remember, anything you purchase from Amazon, a small percentage of that purchase goes to help out my channel. You can toss this in your cart at Merrick Motorsports and use code FREESHIP to save on shipping. And while you're at it, toss in a set of those sweet headlight rings. All right, hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.